Three months ago, her son's life was taken in an instant, and tonight, a grieving mother is hoping to turn her pain into purpose. Her son was driving home when a car driven by a 16-year-old crashed into him. It's believed that team was going more than 100 miles per hour before impact. Tomorrow, he'll stand before a judge. News Channel East Jack Roy, you're joining us live at the Hillsborough County Courthouse with more on that story. And Jack, what charges is the driver facing this young man? Keith Jin, this now 17 year old driver, is facing two charges as an adult unlawful racing and vehicular homicide. Eight on your side is not reporting his name because of his age. But now the victim's family is seeking justice and trying to turn their pain into purpose. In Gina Horig's home, I watch videos daily, all day long. Mementos of her son Michael help keep his memory alive. Every day I wake up thinking he's still going to be here. He was a brother, friend, and bodybuilder with a dream of being Mr. Olympian. His dreams were cut short in October after a driver, just 16 at the time, crashed into him at speeds of over 100 miles an hour. The wreck left him with major injuries. He died days later. I feel like he had this bucket list. And something in him told him he was going to go home to be with the Lord and he needed to complete his bucket list. The now 17 year old driver, whose name we aren't reporting because of his age, is being charged as an adult. He's pleaded not guilty. His attorney says the accident was not drug or alcohol related. In a statement to Eight on Your Side, his attorney said in part, We offer our deepest condolences to the family and loved ones of Michael Horig. He and his family are devastated over the tragic loss of life that was a result of this accident. Michael's mom hopes for stricter laws and more awareness from parents worried this could happen to another family. I've been working on forgiveness. Um, you know, I, I don't believe in my heart of heart that he meant to go out and kill somebody. I can never get Michael back. I think it's fair that he does some time. I think it's fair that he pays for the poor choices that he made. My prayer is that once he's paid that price, that he'll do something good with his life. One mother's unthinkable pain. The day before, the justice system has its say. Michael wanted to open his own gym to help other young people build their strength in a healthy way. To live out that dream, his family is now starting a foundation they're calling Strong Like Michael. We'll have that information at WFLA.com. As for the suspect, his arraignment is set for tomorrow at 1 o'clock inside Hillsborough County Circuit Court. Live in Tampa, Jack Royer, 8 on your side.